Hi, I'm Chao Wei Huang from the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and Frederick Health Hospital. Today, I'm going to go over an interesting renal case uh, from a colleague uh, that involved a stent that fractured and dislodged uh, during shockwave IVL. Uh, this is a rare complication of intravascular lithotripsy, and certainly it was the first time that uh, I've seen it. The patient is a 65-year-old uh, retired engineer uh, with chronic kidney disease and refractory hypertension. He was already maxed out on four antihypertensives. Uh, his systolic blood pressures continued to be in the 160s. Uh, he was compulsively compliant with his medications and kept meticulous records of his uh, blood pressures on a uh, detailed uh, spreadsheet. Uh, he underwent a, a CTA uh, that showed a bilateral renal artery stenosis and was referred for a renal angiogram. And uh, as you can see here um, on renal angiography, uh, there are uh, severe stenoses at the ostea of uh, both the right and left renal arteries. And after some discussion, uh, it was decided to proceed with bilateral renal artery stenting. So the left renal went first. Um, the left renal artery was engaged with a six French IM guide. Uh, the lesion was easily wired with a run-through wire, uh, pre-dilated with a 3O by 12 balloon, and stented with a 5O by 12 uh, drug eluding stent, which seemed to uh, expand well. And here is the uh, post-dilation with a 6O by 12 uh, non-compliant balloon. Um, the ostium was flared uh, with the same uh, 6 o balloon at very high pressure, and things seemed to be uh, uh, expanding well. And uh, here is the angio after uh, post-dilation. Uh, the uh, left renal artery overall looks better. Uh, the mid and distal parts of the stent uh, look pretty good, uh, but the ostium still looks a bit underexpanded, uh, maybe due to some degree of uh, calcification there. So uh, it was decided to proceed with intravascular uh, lithotripsy. Uh, a 4O by 12 millimeter uh, shockwave uh, IVL balloon uh, advanced very easily uh, into the proximal segment of the stent, and uh, 40 pulses uh, were uh, delivered. Uh, the shockwave balloon was pulled back uh, to the ostium uh, to deliver more pulses, and here's the uh, cine uh, to uh, position the balloon. So a shockwave balloon looked to be in a good spot, but look at the stent distally. Uh, it, it looks a little funny. Uh, it seems a little short and a little more, a little bit more distal uh, than where it was uh, deployed. What happened? And here is what it looks like uh, magnified and on stent boost. Uh, take a close look at it. Uh, really quite uh, striking. So what happened? Uh, it seems that the 5O by 12 millimeter stent uh, fractured uh, during shockwave uh, intravascular uh, lithotripsy, and the distal stent fragment became dislodged and partially embolized uh, down the renal artery. Uh, you can see the two fragments of the stent circled here. Wow, I've I've never uh, I've certainly never seen this before. So stent fracture during IVL is, is very rare. Uh, I looked around and I could not find much in the literature. The only thing that I did find is this abstract from India uh, presented at TCT uh, earlier this year uh, involving stent fracture in the LED after IVL uh, that resulted in stent thrombosis. Uh, this was uh, successfully treated uh, with an overlapping stent. So um, there is now a fractured uh, dislodged stent in the renal artery. Uh, what to do? Well, uh, we can uh, look at our algorithm for dislodged stents. Uh, I've got a full uh, video on this uh, for anyone uh, who is interested, and I will provide the link uh, in the comment section below. Uh, in this case, it's thankfully straightforward. Uh, the two stent fragments are both still on the wire, and assuming another stent, frag, uh, another stent uh, can be passed uh, through both of them, uh, that new stent can simply be deployed uh, inside the two uh, stent fragments. And um, that was uh, what was done. A, a 6O by 12 stent was uh, deployed in the renal artery spanning both fragments, and it was post dilated at very high pressure uh, with a 6O uh, non compliant balloon. And um, the final angiographic result was reasonable. 
um, that patient uh, went home uh, later uh, that day. Uh, he came back a couple of weeks later for the right renal artery, and uh, thankfully uh, that intervention uh, was uh, much less uh, exciting. All right, um, take home messages. Uh, stent fracture and dislodgement uh, during intravascular lithotripsy is very rare, uh, but certainly possible. Uh, if it happens to you, uh, follow the stent loss algorithm. Uh, chances are both stent fragments will still be on your wire, and you will just have to deploy another stent uh, inside the two uh, stent fragments. Uh, in retrospect, a more aggressive lesion preparation, uh, such as IVL before stenting, uh, might have avoided the problem. Thank you for watching.